of medical purposes in New York. Lawmakers and advocates for a law say that it's a good start, but they want to see more. A bill circulating the assembly would expand the number of hospitals that can dispense the drug and also expand the form of the drug that can be used. But the question now remains, where would the weed come from? Pat Bailey, live in our Capitol Newsroom tonight, and he's got the answer for us. Pat? Well, Dory, I think I do at least. Lawmakers and advocates want to see the state grow their own for medical reasons. But the governor's executive order, which is likely to be signed before any new law is passed, calls for the drug to be brought in from another state or, get this, pulled out of the evidence lockers from police stations. Governor Cuomo's executive order allowing medical marijuana is limited. It caps the number of hospitals that can dispense it and limits where the weed would come from. State lawmakers who have their own bill want the state to grow its own pot like other states. That produce very specialized strains of the product that are targeted to particular illnesses and conditions. But under the governor's plan, there are two totally separate proposals. One would be to import the drug from an out-of-state college that grows it specifically for medical use. The other is to use seized pot from drug dealers on the streets. Officials at the Albany County Sheriff's Department tell me when pot like this is seized from a drug bust, it could sit in the evidence room for a minimum of one year, possibly as much as three years until the case is resolved. Then when that case is resolved, they take the pot and destroy it. A spokesman in the governor's office says the state would work with the health department to review any pot before it's used for medical reasons. But advocates say this type of pot is not enough. But the biggest problem with that marijuana is that there's really just one variety and it, and it only comes in one form, dried leaves for smoking. That's not what tens of thousands of patients need. However, there is opposition. Some lawmakers say any kind of medical marijuana bill should be limited. Make no bones about it. This isn't all about just helping some kids that are having serious medical problems. This is about legalization of marijuana for recreational use down the road, period. Now, the governor's office did stress to me today that uh, that his executive order his executive order to allow uh, medical marijuana is a long way from being signed. They said that they are still in the early stages of the planning process. However, that separate bill that we mentioned to allow more hospitals and other types of weed for medical purposes did in fact pass the first hurdle today when it was approved by the Assembly Health Committee, but there are still many more hurdles to come. One of the biggest hurdles comes in the state Senate where GOP lawmakers would have to approve this bill. Greg?